My name is Dr. Kyle Mulroney. I'm the co-director of the Center for Rural Criminology here at the University of New England, and I'm really excited to launch the Rural Crime Photo Competition. This project will collect and curate original photographs Australia-wide which depict crime in rural settings. It will ultimately culminate in a permanent online curated exhibition, as well as physical exhibitions and galleries across regional New South Wales and Victoria. Now, there are a number of prizes up for grabs. First and foremost, first place is a $500 prize. Second is $300 and third is $200. We also have two prizes geared towards students specifically. The first targeting undergraduate and postgraduate uh, students in Australia, and that one's worth $300. And then a youth award, which is for those entrants 18 years and under, and that one's worth $200. Finally, we've got the People's Choice Award, and as the name sounds, that's the photograph that is chosen best by the people, and that one's worth $200. So through the photographs submitted in this competition, we're gonna to attempt to define and debate perceptions and representations of what rural crime is, and this will help us better understand the nature of rural offending as well as victimizations. So what is rural crime? Well, that's really up to you. We can think about it in a number of ways. We can think about it literally, uh, things such as you know, rundown gates, evidence of illegal hunting, perhaps stock that could be the target of acquisitive crime. We can use our imaginations and think about how the rural environment itself might shape not only incidences of crime, but our capacity to respond to crime. We can think about the precedes of crime, such as struggling rural economies and local business environments, dilapidated buildings, access to services, and these types of issues which hinder rural communities. Finally, we can think more positively and think about the capacity for rural communities to prevent crime and come together to address issues in rural crime. There is no right or wrong picture in this competition, just your interpretation. So the question we ask you is what characterizes rural crime as conveyed through a photographic lens? So accompanying your photos should be a short blurb of about 150 words, which provides some context, but more importantly, provides your interpretation of what the photograph means to you. We're really excited for this project here at the Center for Rural Criminology, and our expert judging panel can't wait to start reviewing the photographs. So get snapping.